Well, in line with the earlier stated roadmap to focus on large stress accounts, the Reserve Bank of India has identified 12 accounts now which will be processed under the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code. And uh, they've done that after taking into consideration the accounts which were classified partly or wholly as non-performing assets amongst the top 500 exposures in the banking system. Now to hear uh, more on that, we are being joined by Mr. R.K. Tucker, uh, the Executive Director at Hugo Bank. Uh, Mr. Tucker, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Uh, sir, uh, firstly, uh, the, the very obvious question, any indication that you can give us on which these 12 accounts are, which constitute as much as 25% of the total NPAs? See, we do not have the list yet. The list has not yet been released by Reserve Bank of India. But obviously, as far as we can make out, these would be belonging to the steel, power and other infrastructure sector only. For most of the bigger accounts, uh, they belong to this sector. But the individual names are uh, not yet known. Okay. Only once the RBI uh, declares that, we'll come to know. All right, sir. Uh, what is your current exposure to these uh, key sectors that you just mentioned? I uh, see that the overall exposure is uh, quite substantial. But I can uh, tell you these uh, the five major sectors. That is the steel, power, infra, road, and textiles. Mm -hmm. uh, these would constitute uh, more than fifty percent of the bank's total uh, NPAs. All right, sir. Can we assume that as much as uh, 25 to 40 percent of the provisioning for uh, such accounts has already been done for? I'm just trying to get more clarification with respect to how uh, this RBI's move will actually uh, have an impact on provisioning. Uh, of course, the RBI has said that they will come out with more uh, with respect to the provisioning norms on these 12 accounts. But uh, what's the kind of incremental provisions that could be expected to uh, for banks to be taken? See, actually, most of these uh, bigger accounts, we already have a you know, minimum. I'm telling you from uh, 25 to 40 percent. Okay. In some accounts, it could be more also. So now, uh, once uh, we go for this uh, liquidation or resolution, whatever way we want to go ahead, uh, we would have to make some additional uh, provision depending on case to case. This is again, it's very difficult to say uh, in which case how much additional provision would be required. Uh, but at least you can uh, safely presume 40% provision is there uh, on average in these accounts. So balance what we have to make, uh, that's uh, what the banks have also been requesting the Reserve Bank of India. To give us some uh, leverage in the sense that we can spread it over a few quarters or uh, we get some forbearance. So that uh, once this uh, list is known, uh, then we are prepared to take a call on exactly how where do we stand. Okay, uh, sir, since all these accounts have already been NPAs, is there any possibility of resolution uh, which is still there or do you expect most of these cases to go uh, into liquidation itself? See, no, see, Abhita, though, they will be referred to the NCLT. So, the uh, first uh, step is always for a resolution. In case uh, no resolution is there, only then we go into liquidation. So, the first part would definitely be resolution only. In case obviously uh, nothing happens as within the given time frame of six months, then obviously uh, there is no other option but to go in for liquidation. Right, so, in case there um, is a possibility of resolutions, what are the kind of haircuts that you expect to see? Um, again, it depends on case to case. Uh, but uh, in the past, uh, when we have tried to work out uh, in a few accounts, uh, say under S4A, so this, uh, the non-sustainable portion was coming almost uh, uh, 50%. Okay. All right. Thank you so much uh, for joining us, Mr. Thakkar. That was of help. Uh, we will uh, thank you for uh, listening in and we will bring you. you more comments from bankers. Uh, but that's all for now. Thank you for watching Bloomberg Quint.